I'm all alone. There's no one here beside of me. Confirmed and acknowledged. What? I'll dance. Dance, dance. I can dance if I want to. Do 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 do. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex Arx and well, I'm back, kinda. That's right. I haven't been, haven't done any videos in weeks, and I'm sorry for that. I'm also sorry I kind of didn't tell you I was gonna, I wasn't gonna do videos. Um, I have been that busy doing stuff with the house and playing games in secret behind your back. Um, that's actually true. Um, I've just not had the time to set everything up and record things and and do stuff like that. Um, you know, I've been painting, building going to work this past week um, you know it's it's hard to kind of get the time to sit down and and work on making a video and producing stuff for you guys so I hope you guys understand um, I will be getting a new computer and getting that all set up uh, at the moment I'm still just using my old kind of TV and laptop set up it's my laptop is making a racket I wouldn't be surprised if you can hear it just whirring away in the background now just going you get the idea it's annoying um, especially for me but uh, but yeah I thought I would give you guys a little quick video just to kinda obviously just let you know I'm still alive still doing stuff still making videos or gonna be making videos at least and to kinda show off my character in Destiny so this is my main character my main Titan and at the moment I am currently level 28 now in this game for those of you who don't know you go to level 20 as is what is shown here you you just normally just level up just by killing things gain XP etc etc and then when you get to 20 you need to earn light to level up further so you get light by gaining level 20 pieces of, of equipment that have light attached to them so these legs have plus 22 my chest piece has plus 30 and that all adds up and then you know certain amounts of light gain you extra levels and that's how you get say to level 28 like I am now the max level for that is level 30 but to attain level 30 you need very specific armor and a very specific loadout so I'll just talk about my my armor first actually because this this is what I would consider actually to be my raid build um, I don't have a different build to be honest but you know these items I have guns and armor are sufficient enough to run the the raids in destiny which are the hardest event they can you know they can span anything from one hour to three hours it just depends on what kind of team you've got running with you however um, Jumping into this, you'll notice I have three pieces of purple armor and one yellow. Now, legendary armor is the purple armor, and you can equip, obviously, three or four pieces of that armor. However, the yellow one is exotic, which is a tier above legendary. Uh, so exotics, in theory, are the best, and you can only ever have one of these equipped at once. So hence, I have an exotic helmet, but it won't let me put that on. See, so it just says, nah can't do that so anyway the light and these pieces of equipment I fully I'll be honest I can't remember specifically if I was to upgrade this helmet fully a legendary part whether it's a helmet arms chest or legs if it's purple and it's legendary I think the most light you can get on it about is about 27 or 28 don't quote me on that all you need to really remember is that your exotic, when fully upgraded, can go to light plus 30. Now, for level 30 overall, is your grand scheme for your character, you need to have 120 light in total. So that equates to 30 light on every piece of armor. But, like I said, your legendary, your normal legendaries at least, can only go to a light level of 27 or 28 and your exotic can only go to 30 so you're going to be about 6 to 10 you know light short of being level 30 so in short you can hit level 29 I could be level 29 if I wanted to if I fully upgraded my helmet my arms and my legs um, 
this is where the raids come in. Um, these hard, long winding six player missions. Um, there's only one out at the moment, but there's, we'll call it stages. There's about three stages to the raid and there's loot chests also dotted around in each stage. And what the raid gives you is basically just access to very specific high quality gear. So you can get rare guns, like I'll go, go on to later, uh, but you also get what is called raid gear. So like a raid helmet, raid arms, raid chest. They are the same as legendaries, basically. They are legendaries. However, they've got a higher stat of light on them. And when fully upgraded, this raid gear will give you plus 30 light, similar to an exotic. And therefore, if you had an exotic piece and three other pieces of raid gear in those other slots, all maxed out, you would hit 120 light and therefore have 130. The only problem with that is, is getting raid gear from the raid is difficult. It's it's just total luck. Um, first time I went through the raid, I got one piece, but the the drop was it was awful. It rolled stats. It had like less strength than that, and it only had strength and light on it. So I wasn't too chuffed about that. So I dismantled it. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have because. I've ran the raid three more times um, and got absolutely nothing out from it. Um, it should be noted that you can only do the raid um, once a week um, on one character. So if you've got two characters that can run the raid, you can do it twice a week, etc, etc. Um, <coughs> now, uh, so my current predicament is I have a fully upgraded exotic piece and three standard bits of legendary. Now I don't want to fully upgrade these legendary pieces uh, to get level 29 because it's a waste of material because these um, pieces of armor need material to upgrade. Um, the one at the bottom we can see there is Ascendant Shard and they are, uh, I would love to say rare, they are difficult to find normally but if you do the raid if you don't get these raid pieces of gear or weapons, you usually get sh Ascendant Shards or Ascendant Energy, both of which are used to upgrade um, pieces of armor and weaponry. <coughs> so, like I said earlier, this is my raid build, so this is basically my setup. Level 28, the raid's rated at 26 if you go through on normal difficulty, um, so I'm two levels higher, I'm more than capable of running through it. I've got, I don't really worry too much about the actual stats on these three legendaries. It's my exotic that I really like. Um, intellect, that boosts your ability to use your special ability. In my case, it's a shield, it's a bubble that pops up and helps armor everyone up. Gives them an extra shield level of defense as well as the actual impenetrable bubble that I generate, which is really good. Uh, this class is more of a more of a support class rather than a gunner up front doing all the damage kind of class. Um, as you can see there, I can revive teammates faster. I can spawn more orbs to help them get their super specials quicker. Uh, I can just carry more ammo for auto rifles and special weapons. All around, it's it's a really good drop, and I've got a really high stat on that as well. So yeah, like I said, playing the the more defensive role and the team player role. Um, that's really what I like about the Titan. Uh, moving across onto the guns, um, I got this from the raid, I think it was my second run through, and this is interesting because primary weapons normally don't have a kind of element to them. You see there we've got like the purple, purple void symbol next to the 288 damage. Um, like you see there, that's not coloured, it's just 257, same with the Vanquisher and Thorn, for example. Um, normally, primary weapons don't have an element to them, but Athian's Epilogue and Vision of Confluence, both of which are raid drops, are primaries that do have this extra kind of elemental damage effect to them, which is really, really helpful, especially Athian's Epilogue. It's 
it's amazing for running the raid because it gives you extra oracle damage you've got that void damage added and some of the biggest toughest enemies in the raid are the minotaurs and the um i can't remember what they're called the praetorians that's the one and they have void shields and this gun just cuts through them no bother um i've not tried out the if i can get to it the vision of confluence yet that's fire that'll be good against enemies with fire shields like high level wizards and shanks in epic mode um so yeah, the, uh, I'm going to give Vision of Confluence a go, but it's mostly all about Athian's epilogue at the moment. Um, moving down to the, my special weapons, I'm running the 77 Wizard at the moment. That's a legendary fusion rifle. Um, it's got arc damage on it. I don't have many arc damage guns, and therefore this is why I'm using this at the moment. It's it's quite rare, and I need it for the damage, the, the coverage of all weapon uh, damage types. Um, I'm currently running uh, an exotic bounty for an exotic fusion rifle called Pocket Infinity, which I don't know, I hear is good when it's fully upgraded, but it's not so good if it's not upgraded. So I'm, I'm hoping to work towards that, but that's a fire damage um, fusion rifle, so I'd need to get my arc coverage from elsewhere. Which is where this <laughs> unfriendly giant comes in. This is a rocket launcher and that does a whole heap of arc damage. Um, I've had that drop for a wee while now. Um, I've not fully upgraded it because it's just it's just the amount of... I need spirit blooms and I don't like I don't like farming spirit blooms. It takes too long. But uh, it's powerful enough as it is anyway. So that's just like a quick overview of my class. Um, actual skills and stuff I have it's it depends on what your playstyle is I've gone for quite high armor and recovery and from a grenade I've gone with the the magnetic grenade um, this is really helpful against uh, Athian at the end of the raid because it explodes twice um, giving you just that extra damage because you've got a time limit to kill Athian in the more DPS you can do in those short windows you get to attack him, the better. So this is why I have that grenade on. Um, I have increased control for my, my jumping, um, for the jumping puzzle in the raid. Um, like I say, this, this entire build is specifically tuned to be able to get through the raid without too many issues. Um, I've got Weapons of Light on my Ward of Dawn, which is my special that generates an orb shield. Um, normally I would run Blessing of Light, which gives you and your team a shield, a temporary shield that, you know, basically just armors them up. But this time I go for Weapons of Light, so it increases the damage you do. Once again, it's just to get that quicker DPS and knock those bosses down before they get enraged. Um, Unbreakable, this is just on my melee. If I kill someone with a melee attack, I get a barrier, uh, just a shield basically, that constantly regens with time. Um, that's not too helpful in the raid, but you know you'd be surprised. I think at the times that it probably does come in handy, and I don't actually notice it. Um, just other things, just fine tuning for my armor, high armor and high recovery. Um, as my orb shield takes damage, it generates orbs of light for everyone else to benefit from, and illuminated just increases the effects of the weapons of light. So I do even more damage with that. Sorry, I did a, a little kind of burp in my mouth there. It's not very nice for my first video back. So, yeah, like I said, this is my raid class. This is what I do uh, to run the raid. Um, my hope is that I will get some some raid gear drops. Um, the only problem is is the helmet. Now, there is a raid helmet drop, but you only get it when you play through on the hard difficulty, which is level 30. So, most sensible people will put an exotic helmet on that slot, because then you can just play through the, the raid on normal difficulty, and then get raid gear for your other three slots. The head, the helmet, is the hardest one to get. Um, so I'm not leaving myself really that open for it, seeing as I love my armor piece on the chest um, but it's just a game of luck really it it just depends what happens um, 
I could run it again next week and get, you know, armor for all three of those slots. And then I could just pop that helmet on. It's okay, it's not as good as that chest piece, but, you know, if it puts you to level 30, that's a much bigger benefit than almost the individual stats that you gain off each individual piece relative to what you could do. So being level 30 is much better than 28. That's, that's basically what you need to take away. Um, anyway, I hope this has uh, helped some people maybe if they're un uncertain as to how to build their Titan for the raid. Um, I've not had any real issues running the raid, to be honest. Um, dying's not an issue. As soon as you got Athian's epilogue, rerunning the raid is easy. Minotaurs, Vex, everything, Oracles just die so quickly. Um, you're so beefed up with armor. Um, it's great. You don't die. Um, if someone does go down, you can res them really quickly, although it makes no difference because they still have to wait the 30 seconds with the timer. It's just an instant just tap square and they're basically up. In those heated fights where it, timing can make all the difference, it, it does help. Um, so yeah, I hope this has uh, helped any titans out there that I want to build for the for the raid. Um, and to people that, you know, have been watching my videos on my channel, I hope this has reminded you that I exist and I do <laughs> do play games and do stuff. Like I say, I am sorry that I've not done anything, but I have been trying to sort out the house, paint things, get things sorted. As usual, you take two weeks off work and nothing really gets done, but that's life, isn't it? I think. Um, anyway, I will see you guys in another video. Um, I might put up a couple of the raid runs. Um, some of them are pretty long and arduous. I'd have to edit out all the times I die on the jumping puzzle the first time I try it. But, uh, but yeah, I might do that. Um, anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, probably be something to do with Destiny. No.